guys, it's Tensler and welcome to a new video. In this video, I will show you guys how to, well, basically make a database, but this is gonna be a really basic tutorial, so it, this will only limit to changing the stats of a writer and uh, just in general create a writer, so generally it's just about how to get the databases working in Pro Cycling Manager 2016, how to edit them and such, because there were some changes um, with the addition of a Steam Workshop anyway. Um, step one will be to um, go over to your username, documents, or just your documents folder, basically Pro Cycling Manager 2016, and then the mod folder. So basically, you go to documents, Pro Cycling Manager 2016, mods, and then you get into here. What you need to do here this year is, uh, well, to make it the easiest for yourself, you need to um, copy over this folder first, the default folder. Um, what this default folder basically is, is um, uh, an example folder of how a, uh, a whole database pack looks this year. Because uh, this year uh, it has been changed up with Steam Workshop, it are now database packs, not only just the database files themselves. Um, so basically you can put in your jerseys, mini jerseys and all of that stuff into one whole pack, put it on the workshop for everybody to download, um, and it will all work just fine. So um, also if you want to edit the jerseys and such like and such stuff, uh, then you can just put it in here, you know. So it's all re really easy now. Anyway, what you do, you um, just copy over this folder so you ha so you can make your own database pack, um, and you just rename it to whatever you want your database to be called. So I'm just gonna call it like this. Um, so basically now you have your own database pack and if you go into PCM and look, you will see it over here, it's right there. So it's um, one of the things that you can choose out of your database, so that's how that works. That's how that part, part of the databases work now. Also, if you want to share it now, you can just go to the modding page and then you can publish a mod over here. Anyway, now that we have that out of the way, we can go to step 2, which will be to go to the Steam Apps folder, uh, Steam, Steam Apps, thing common. Um, you, you, you guys need to watch out for this file will not be on your desktop for you guys. You will probably have to go to uh, C drive, your C drive, program files, x86 or program files, one of the two, whichever you have on your PC. And then in this folder, you will have a Steam folder like I have on my desktop. So, um, then you just go to Steam, then to Steam Apps, Common Pro Cycling Manager 2016, and in here you can go to the Database Editor. I'm just gonna use the default Database Editor, the, um, the official release one, because it's um, the one well that, mo that all people have, and because um, this is just a basic tutorial, so I don't really want to go too in depth in this one yet. I will uh, create other videos where I um, edit more things than only the stats of a writer and only add a writer. Uh, and for that, we will need other database editors, but that's for a future episode. For now, this one will suffice. So I'm just gonna run it as an administrator. I always do that when I run files for some reason. I don't know why. Um, anyway, when you open this up, you go to File open a CDB file, if you can get over there. And basically what you do, you go to the uh, folder that you just created. So it's basically again in the Pro Cycling Manager 2016 folder in your documents. Go to that, mod, and then in the uh, folder that you just created, you can go to the official release.cdb and you can open that. Uh, just override whatever comes up and you should be fine. So now it's loading up. And there we go. So basically when you get in here, a tip that I would give, um, knowing my uh, experience of the last um, of the last years, just click on edit here once. So um, otherwise, um, if you click on another writer, they will take over the writer that has the first name. Yeah, it's something weird, just don't mind it, just click on edit when you get into it. Um, anyway, so first I'm gonna edit the stat of a writer, so you basically well, that's basically step step three, isn't it, right? Um, so 
basically you go and um, do your writer, you search him up and uh, when you're on this page you can edit whatever you want, you can upgrade his potential if you want, you can give him much more flat, mountain, hills, downhilling, uh, time trial, prologue, whatever, endurance, yeah sure, it's just all upgrade this, cobble, yes please, fighting spirit, much more sprint, yes, there you go, so you basically just change the stats of your rider, you can also change the picture, uh, the birth date, whatever you want, you can also make them the world road champion for example, which I'm gonna do right here, you can uh, limit their stats in some ways, but I don't know why you would do that, anyway, we did that, uh, and you are done with editing all the stats, you basically click on edit again to uh, make sure that the, uh, the changes, changes get saved, uh, you can go to another writer and back to him to see if it, get, if it did get changed. If it did, great. Now on to the part where I create the writer. So it's kind of obvious, you just click on add a writer. You click... Uh, no, wait. You um, just enter their name that you want them to be. You click on the uh, team that you want them to be in, the country that you want them to be from. Um, you give them their birth date which I'm gonna do right over here. Um, you can give them a potential and then just some stats, I guess, like stuff like this. Uh, yeah, you just uh, you just create a writer that you want, uh, basically like this. And when you are done, which I am gonna be in a second, probably. Uh, 50, this, 63. Um, so when you're done with this, what you want to do is just click on validate. The writer has been created normally then, you can always check it again by clicking on, the, on that, you can change these things and all. Now, for step, I, I don't even know which step is, step 5 or stuff like that, I have no clue anymore. Um, what you can do now, when you edit it, your writer's stats, you can also always mess around with the teams and tracks in here, but because his database editor is limited, um, I wouldn't really get into that sort of stuff. I would just uh, wait for uh, other database editors to come out by other people um, to change these things. Anyway, when you um, changed everything you want on the database, um, you save it by going to create the ZDB database. Uh, you click on that, you go to the folder that you created previously as well, and where you opened it and, and where you opened the CDB from. Click on that, you go to official release.cdb and you basically just click on save. And you uh, overwrite the file. And when you did that, you should be good to go. So um, let's just check now. Let's go into the game. Uh, we go into career for example. We select our database that we created, um, we click on create game, and let's see now. Okay, immediately a lot of Sudal. So now we can see Rulands has these OP stats, as you can see. I'm definitely gonna make a career now with this, right? <laughs> and our own rider is also in here with 78 mountain and 76 hill. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope it was a little bit helpful. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below, I will always answer them. Except if our hate if it are hate messages. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If that was helpful, I'll see you guys in the next video.